As the capital city of France, Paris has endured as an important city for more than 2,000 years. Often called by nicknames like the City of Love and City of Lights, Paris is today one of the world's leading centers for business, fashion, entertainment, art, and culture. Just mentioning Paris conjures images of the city's world-famous landmarks, museums, and cathedrals. Also called the capital of fashion, Paris is home to some of the world's finest designer names, including Yves Saint Laurent, Lancome, L'Oreal, and Christian Dior. In this video, we explore the best tourist attractions in Paris. We've collected a list of the top tourist attractions in Paris attractions, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number 1, Eiffel Tower. Visiting the iconic symbol of Paris usually ranks as the number one thing to do for most tourists. Towering more than 1,000 feet, 300 meters, high in the Champ de Mars Park, this iron structure was constructed for the 1889 World Exposition. One of the world's most photographed tourist attractions, the Eiffel Tower presents an excellent photography opportunity for both day and night. Number 2. Notre Dame de Paris a trip to Paris could only be complete with a visit to the world-famous Notre Dame Cathedral. Standing more than 400 feet high with two lofty towers and a spire, this marvelous church is considered a supreme example of French Gothic architecture. A tour of this 13th-century masterpiece allows visitors to admire the awe-inspiring rose windows, Gothic carvings, beautiful sculptures, and a collection of relics. Number 3. Sacre Coeur one of the most noticeable landmarks in Paris is the striking white domed Basilica of the Sacre Coeur. Situated at the city's highest point on Montmartre Hill, this stunning basilica draws many tourists yearly to see its marble architecture and gorgeous interior. A tour awards visitors with views of gold mosaics, stained glass windows, and one of the world's largest clocks. Number 4. Jardin du Luxembourg Known in English as the Luxembourg Gardens, this public park is the second largest in Paris. Visitors here can picnic or stroll among beautiful lawns, formal gardens, and fruit orchards that feature many artistic statues and fountains. There are jogging paths, tennis courts, and fitness equipment for fun and sport. Children can play in the huge playground, ride ponies, watch a puppet show, and sail model boats in a pond. Number 5. Saint Chapelle. Begun sometime after 1239, the Saint Chapelle is considered among the highest achievements of Gothic architecture. King Louis IX of France commissioned its construction to house his collection of passion relics, including Christ's crown of thorns, one of the most important relics in medieval Christendom. Although damaged during the French Revolution and restored in the 19th century, it retains one of the most extensive in situ collections of 13th century stained glass anywhere in the world. Number 6. Disneyland Paris When Europeans can't get to Los Angeles to see the original Disneyland, they head to Disneyland Paris, Europe's most visited theme park. Disneyland Paris is more than just a theme park with spectacular rides like its namesake. It's a resort with hotels, shopping, and golf among its varied activities. In 1992, it became the second Disney park to open outside the United States. It's located about 30 kilometers, 20 miles, from central Paris. A companion park, Walt Disney Studios Park, opened in 2002. Number 7. Palace of Versailles the Palace of Versailles started as a royal hunting lodge, but later became a palace housing the king's court. The mammoth structure is ornate, opulent, and over-the-top in its richness. It is one of Paris's most visited landmarks, with visitors visiting its magnificent gardens and the Hall of Mirrors, with its 357 mirrors decorating 17 arches. The Palace of Versailles ceased being a royal residence during the French Revolution and today houses a museum of French history. Number 8. Seine Cruz The River Seine runs nearly 800 kilometers through France on its way to the English Channel. Cruising the river as it winds through Paris is one of the most romantic things visitors can do. Seine cruises pass under numerous bridges in Paris, visiting sites like the Louvre, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Eiffel Tower. A Seine cruise lasts about an hour, but it is a magic hour. A Seine cruise also is a good way to experience Paris at night. 
Number 9. Palais Garnier Architect Charles Garnier spared no ornate detail when he designed the Palais Garnier in the 19th century. Perhaps this is why the building was the most expensive of its era. Seating nearly 2,000 people, the Palais Garnier is home to the National Opera of Paris. It is the novel's star and subsequent film, Phantom of the Opera. The Palais Garnier is still in use today, mainly for ballet, and is home to the Opera Library Museum. At last in the list, number 10, Pantheon. The Pantheon is where famous French citizens are buried. Modeled after the Pantheon in Rome, it was originally a church dedicated to Saint Genevieve, the patron saint of Paris, and her relics. The church was rebuilt in the neoclassical style by King Louis XV to thank God for his recovery from a serious illness. It was changed to a mausoleum during the French Revolution to honor revolutionary martyrs. Famous people buried here include Voltaire, Victor Hugo, and Marie Curie. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite tourist attractions in Paris. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.